I'm like actually cold. I need a sweater. That's better. Hey guys, it's Luna. Welcome to this week's video. We are doing a Halloween based video. It's honestly my first ever costume idea video. It's funny that this year I'm doing my costume idea video when most likely none of us will be doing anything because of coronavirus. This year we should still have fun, dress up, even if it just means we're staying at home, which we all should be. At least that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sure every single one of us got those Halloween costume idea videos on our For You page on TikTok using like the WAP. Halloween sound. I don't, I don't, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? At least I did and I was like, you know what? This year, this year's gonna be different. We're not doing the basic stuff anymore. Like this is gonna be upgraded. So I am taking inspiration from TikTok today and I also asked on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see me recreate. Just this like period, like October to December is my favorite time of year ever because I love holidays. I love celebrating. I love dressing up. So last year was pretty iconic. Not gonna lie. This year I am doing a most likely solo costume hopefully we can find some inspo today of what I want to be maybe I will find a fire fit I cannot wait let's dress up let's have fun let's get into this happy Halloween spooky season is here on to the first costume okay number one that we are doing is pretty basic I'd say however we're not gonna make it basic this year first idea is cowgirl specifically inspired by this Cardi B picture of her as a pink rhinestone cowgirl I feel like this actually is gonna be really really common this year because I feel like the pink cowboy hat thing has been really a thing for like these like basic girls really basic girls <laughs> But I don't care. I encourage every single girl to be a cowgirl because then no one can ever talk about me listening to country music again. Okay, I'm gonna get into the outfit and then explain everything that you need. I was at my family friend's house the other day and I was like, I'm filming this Halloween video. I wish I had pink chaps. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, I got some in my garage. So she pulls them out and she had literal pink chaps, which I wanted so bad. If you're lucky enough to have pink chaps, then definitely wear them. However, I'm going to show you how to make your own chaps. I literally feel naked Obviously, you need cowboy boots. I don't know if this is allowed on YouTube, but there goes my monetization. I feel fire, like <laughs> really fire, but I would never go out in this. This is why it's a quarantine costume for me. Basically what you need, so obviously you need a cowboy hat. I got this one on Amazon. You can get yours on Amazon. You can get it probably anywhere. Go to a costume shop. I would do pigtails, a thousand percent, or braids. One thing I think this outfit does need is freckles. Let's do that. I'm just taking this eyebrow pencil and making a little dot. I wish I had freckles. Uh, what happened there? Whatever, it's fine. I would use a jacket and what I would do for this jacket if I was wearing this costume on Halloween, I would definitely add fringe and just so buy like pink fabric and just add fringes. You definitely need some type of like undergarment. This is a bathing suit from ASOS, I believe. If you have chaps, I'm sure you can look up. I'm sure they have chaps somewhere. This is like definitely a game changer. And then obviously you need cowboy boots. These ones are actually from Princess Polly. This is the full fit. I feel fire. I don't know if I want this, like it's too much. Let's try the second option and try and make our own chaps from back. Jeans. I also have this cowboy top from Almighty, which probably would be better. Still, the bottom's a little weird, but definitely better. Let's try and make the jeans. I looked up to see if you can cut baggy jeans to be chaps, and I found a tutorial, so we're doing it. Could you be any cuter? Okay, so let's think. I wish I was like a DIY YouTuber and actually gave you good advice right now, but I'm following this girl's video, so I'll tag in the video below, but basically I drew out where I'm gonna cut. You can see the black lines, and I'm just gonna... Cut it. This is what we've cut so far. No clue what I'm doing. I just cut out this part of it. Ooh. <laughs> this is not going well. Maybe it is going well. <laughs> Final reveal. <laughs> Let's try these on. I can't wait. I cannot wait to try these on. That was the worst idea I've ever had. Like, maybe not. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, wait, maybe they're actually not that bad. I like definitely am not wearing the right things underneath. You guys can make your own chaps. It could be it could be a thing. This video is off to an amazing start. Can you guess? Can you guess? <laughs> I am a bra 
that stall for this one. This is a really easy one to do. Also really fun to do with your friends because there's a bunch of different brat stalls. This one is blonde. I took this one off TikTok. Do you want to try her makeup though? I remember doing brats makeup was like such a big trend and I suck at makeup. But we're going to try it. I have to get the freckles and this makeup off to start. Definitely going to be a fail. No, you know what? I'm going to be positive. It's not going to be a fail. So I'm going to wash this off my face. But this video is actually sponsored by Function of Beauty. Thank you, Function of Beauty. You guys know I use them for my my hair care. They just launched their skincare line, which is the exact same thing. You get to do a questionnaire, personalize it exactly for you. Even says function of Luna on here. I'm gonna be using the wash right now. They gave me this cute little headband I'm gonna wear. Perfect. <laughs> So what you do is you go on Function of Beauty, you fill out a short quiz. Basically, you answer about your skin type, your preferences, your makeup use. You choose what format you want the product to be in and if you want it to be fragranced. This is the Jelly Cleanser. Packaging is stunning. Like, I've never seen skincare look this beautiful. <laughs> you can also choose what format you want the product to be in. This is my favorite one. This is the serum. Again, love the packaging. I also love Function of Beauty because they use no parabens, no sulfates. They are vegan, cruelty-free toxin free. It's specially catered to you, which is what I think exactly what you need in skincare, especially skincare. This is the lotion. So I'm working with Function of Beauty to give you guys a limited time offer. You can get an extra 10% off any skincare bundle and a free selfie spa headband if you click the link in my bio. So you can get a total savings of over 20% as a part of their new launch. So again, link in the description, get 10% off your own skincare bundle customized to you. Thank you, Function of Beauty. I love you guys so, so much. But it's time to get into the makeup. Let's try. I hope you're ready for the comedy section of this video. Me attempting to do makeup. <laughs> no clue what I'm doing. Just winging it. Perfect. <laughs> you guys, no. 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 Exactly what I thought would happen happened. This is a disgrace. An absolute disgrace to the makeup community. It's just never gonna happen for me. The idea was there. I feel so discouraged. I know it's not the look I was going for, but this isn't even that bad. You're gonna do Brad's makeup, and please, for everyone's sake, do it better than me. We're gonna overline our lips now. Okay, guys, putting on my final look. Here it is. This is me as the Bratz doll. These shoes make my legs look so long. Let's review. She had this little tank, this fluffy jacket, and this tiny little skirt. And then the most important part, probably, is these platform shoes these I got from Depop. You definitely need some type of platform boot. Probably boot would be better, but glasses are actually from Walmart. And then please just try and do good makeup. Overline those lips. This is a really simple costume. Also, if you just want to feel really good, I feel really cute in this. <laughs> I'm definitely a pretty humble person, but I actually killed this one. Like, I actually killed this one. <laughs> Hear me out. This was one I got from TikTok. This is a group costume idea, but I killed the blonde one. This is Winx Girls. I am Stella. She wears this little orange two-piece outfit. She has this blue. She even has, like, the orange here, the blue headband. And then she has orange boots, which are fire, but I'm wearing these disco boots. Who's going to be the other ones with me? Because I have no friends. <laughs> like, but for real, who's going to be a wings girl with me? Because this is too fire of a costume. She didn't have wings, and I did buy wings. These are cute. Ugh. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? You guys, someone be a wings girl with me. Oh. This might be one of the best costumes I'm going to be doing today. Except it doesn't make any sense unless I have a group of girls doing the same thing. We can also just take inspo from this to be like a fairy, because I feel like fairies are very in. But, next costume. Okay. Can you guess what this one is? The next one that I got asked to do is Paris Hilton, which is iconic, especially because her movie just came out this year. So I'm sure a lot of people will be doing Paris. Basically for Paris Hilton, let's just go through what you need. Definitely any type of juicy little tracksuit. If you have a juicy tracksuit, you're good. But this is a little juicy jacket from a tracksuit. Totally something she'd wear. She always wears really like jeweled earrings and I have this jeweled necklace. And then always some 90s glasses. These are again the ones from Walmart, surprisingly. And then if you're not doing low waist, you're not doing it right. Um, she's always wearing low waist. I actually got this little skirt from thrift shop. And then I got this Von Dutch bag that I've had. Von Dutch was very big in her time of being an icon, which she still is, but got the Von Dutch bag. And then I'm wearing these platform sandals. These are from Rocket Dog, which is like a very 90s brand. This is my version of Paris Hilton. And definitely could have done a little better. Anybody could be Paris. This is a good at-home outfit again, and I feel fire. Lowest really is the thing, I guess. That's hot. Loved it. Loves it. 
Okay, this one is another group costume idea. This is Bubbles, Powerpuff Girl Bubbles. I just have this little blue slip dress and I just added a black belt. And then she's wearing like white knee high socks, so I have that. She's actually wearing black shoes, but I just put the white boots on again. And then obviously little pigtails. Um, you could do really cute makeup for this, like Powerpuff Girl. Not my strong suit and not gonna waste my time. I feel cute. This is definitely a cute little cash, casual costume. Fire. This is just kind of like a dark angel. I don't know if I'm wearing these wings right. They're supposed to be like that. That would make more sense. Um, okay, for this costume, basically, all I did was I got these black little wings from Claire's again, randomly enough. This little black dress. You can use any little L LBD. Just a little black dress. This one is really cute. I got it from a store in the mall. And then I ordered these little gloves from Amazon. These are really cute. I want to wear these like on the daily. And then I'm wearing a black little choker. My hair, I just did this little hair where I tied it underneath. Um, just a messy little vibe. And then obviously, I tried eyeliner. I'm not getting anywhere close to you guys so that you don't actually see how bad it is. And then for my boots, I'm wearing these very cute high boots from Nasty Gal. I think it's fire. Definitely stuff that you have in your closet just need to get the wings. I feel so badass. I feel very out of place. <laughs> Who is she? I don't know. I'm really not a person that like does sexy costumes, but for some reason I feel like all these costumes have been really like sexy. But the next one won't be, so let's move on. <laughs> Okay, I doubt you'll know who I am right now, but I'm trying to replicate Lizzie McGuire because I got a ton of recommendations to do this one and I really wanted to kill it, but I don't have bangs and it's just not working, but she's always wearing some funky prints like this. She also wears a bandana a lot. Wait, I don't know if that helped. And then I'm wearing just these low waist jeans, but you guys could definitely kill this one better than I can if you guys replicate Lizzie, please show me. I thrifted this little jacket um, and then just funky prints with everything. She always has like really nice, cute, funky pants. You guys could kill this one. I have faith in you. So there's that. This is actually the final look. I wish I saved a better look for the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this little costume video. If you guys use any of my recommendations for Halloween, please tag me. Please stay in, stay safe this Halloween. Don't go to parties. We're in a pandemic. Please be safe, but dress up and take pictures and do some fun stuff at home. I promise you, it actually might be way better. Don't forget to check out Function of Beauty's new skincare, link in the description. Follow my Instagram, Luna Montana. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Happy Halloween. I love you to the moon back. <laughs> Bye.